These simple, inexpensive sachets look like they are right out of a boutique. A list of the supplies are below in the description. I coffee dye the material with boiling water, about five tablespoons of instant coffee, and I soak the material for about 15 minutes, then rinse it with cold water. Then I throw it in the dryer to dry. I cut the material into six by four and a half inch pieces. Find some bits of lace and scraps of material. Then begin. I'm gluing on this first part because I don't want to sew over these rosettes with my sewing machine. This is such a simple sewing project for any beginner. Place this on top of one of the six by four and a half inch pieces and sew to hold in place. I will also post a no sew version of this project, so if you'd rather glue instead of sew, check it out. Add the other piece of fabric right sides out and sew together on three sides. Leave an opening at the top of this. I do the same with the second sachet. This is not a measured and precise process. I just use scraps. They're not even or measured. It's just a very organic process. No perfection required. The material that I used for this one is actually an old tea towel that I used for drying dishes. It had some stains on it and I coffee dyed it. And I love how it turned out. It looks very vintage and super inexpensive. this one the same as you did with the previous sachet. Remember to leave an opening at the top. Add one cup of dried lavender and I use a quarter of a cup to put this in here so it makes it simple. Then I add three drops of an essential oil. I use bergamot with this lavender. I think it smells amazing. Carefully sew it closed. Trim off any excess threads. Now I like how these are frayed around the edges. As a matter of fact, on the other one, I fray the edges more because I think it gives a really nice, old, worn vintage look. Here are a couple more examples that I hope you'll like. This is such a quick, fun project that turns out so nice and costs so little to make. Thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe so that you can get any new videos that I come out with. Share this with somebody that you think will also like this. See you next time.